Okay, so people have been asking me about how to go and get the audio to work on, or microphone to work on Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. Uh, so, all you have to do is whenever you open up Microsoft Encoder, let's go do this. Right there, screen capture. You just load that up, and it pops up with this, right? You go to audio, and I don't know why, but it does that only to my laptop. It works on everything else, but that's where it is. It's being dumb right now, uh, but it's right there. Like I said, I have no idea why it's just doing it on my laptop because it works on everything else um, let's try something like that and then yeah stop and it should work hey there we go uh, that's all you gotta do uh, after you go record it. I mean, I would go, like for me right now, I'm using Fraps to record this. I like it a whole lot better than uh, Microsoft Expression Encoder. Uh, that's just me though. Uh, because whenever Fraps gets done with its videos, it's automatically goes into a uh, mp4 file like this right here and it's really easy to go put it on YouTube but the thing is Microsoft Encoder you can go and edit some stuff and take out some stuff really easy while on Fraps, you have to go into Windows Media Player and clip some stuff out. It takes a whole lot longer. Uh, that's just me, though. Some people like Encoder way better than anything else, and some people like Fraps better than anything else. Uh, Fraps does cost money unless you hack it, and that's the full version if you hack it. And Encoder, the free version does pretty much everything really uh so there's that if you guys have any other questions uh just go shoot me a message on this video or the main video i will post a um, little description or a video response to that to go show you guys what's going on uh said so thanks for watching if you have any other questions go message me and yeah, there's that.